everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Homeopathy Super Sessions by Dr. Jacos. Today, I'll be doing the part three of one-sided disease of an external kind, that is the local disease. So in part two, we had seen about local maladies. In part three, we'll be seeing about the local disease. Again, to recap the classification, now we are, we are at this level, the external kind, physical kind, local disease. So the true medical treatment of a disease of the external parts of the body that has occurred from little or no injury from without must therefore be directed against the whole. So Dr. Hanneman says that in a local disease, the cause, external cause is minimum or there is little or no injury, but you have to direct the medical treatment and you have to direct the medical treatment in such a way such that the whole totality is taken into consideration and the medicine has been given. The annihilation and cure of the local disease must generally take place by internal medicines. Then only the treatment effected will be judicious, efficacious, and radical. So as I told you in the last video about local maladies, so the difference between local maladies and local disease is what? Is that in a local disease, both of them will appear on the external part of the body, but in local malady, it is trivial in nature, the, the cause is external, and it is, a, and it is of a recent origin. In local disease, there is no external cause, there is always an internal cause, and it is not trivial in nature, and the duration is much more longer. So this is how we have to distinguish between local maladies and local disease. Furthermore, in local maladies, the vital force is not effective. In local disease, definitely the vital force is affected. So I hope it, that becomes very clear regarding the local maladies and local disease. The confirmation lies in the fact that the medicines after ingestion causes important changes in the general health of the patient and particularly in the affected external parts. So in the local disease, the cause lies internal. As a result of which, we have to give an appropriate internal homeopathic med medicine in order to annihilate the disease. So therefore, when the patient ingests the correct homeopathic medicine, then definitely some changes will take place, particularly in the affected external parts. That means the lesions on the external parts, whatever has been affected on the body, when you give the internal medicine, the external lesion will slowly disappear. That shows that the cause lies internal and only an internal homeopathic medicine is very essential in order to combat the cause which lies internal. So once with the medicine, the internal cause has been taken care of, automatically the lesion on the skin will disappear. It brings about restoration to the health of the entire body along with the disappearance of the external affection without the aid of any external remedy. So Dr. Hanneman says that when you give the correct homeopathic remedy based on the totality of symptoms, when the vital force is affected, then the external lesion will disappear on, on its own because the cause lies internal. And of course, he says that no external remedy is allowed or given. This can only occur if the medicine chosen is strictly homeopathic with the case. So naturally, Dr. Hanneman again reminds us that this sort of an reaction will only occur if you strictly follow the principles of homeopathy and you form the correct totality based on characteristic symptoms and you find out the correct stimulus. By this we mean that we have taken into account all the changes, suffering and symptoms observable in the patient's health and which may be previously noticed when no medicine has been used. So therefore, another important point Dr. Hanneman tells us that whenever we form the totality, we have to take into account what sensation, what modalities were present when no medicines were used. See, generally when patient comes to us in practice, suppose they have got psoriasis or they got eczema or probably some other local disease then they have already taken some sort of treatment for months or even years together. They are fed up of the treatment and then they come to our, to, I mean, they, then they come 
to you as a homeopathy physician and to treat. So when we take the totality, we have to take the unmodified totality. Unmodified totality meaning what? We have to see those symptoms which were present along with the sensation, modalities, and concomitant when no medicine was used. Therefore, when you do, when you follow this pattern, this totality which is formed is truly homeopathic. But if you would see or if you take the totality when medicines had been given to the patient, you may not get any characteristic symptom because the patient will tell you, okay, doctor, moment I apply the ointment, my lesion disappears. After some days when I stop it, it again comes. Okay, so you have to ask, ask him that for the first time, what was the sensation you had at that lesion before taking any, before taking any, any sort of uh, treatment, either allopathy or homeopathy. So he'll tell you, I had got burning pains, which are better by hot or cold application, which are aggravated by certain kind of food, aggravated in a certain sort of weather, et cetera, et cetera. So out here, you will get characteristic symptoms. By means of this medicine employed only internally, the general morbid state of the body is removed along with the local affection. So when you form the true totality and you give it and you find out the similimum and give it internally, naturally, the morbid state of the body will be removed along with the local affection. As I told you, in local disease, the cause lies internal. So if you mitigate or if you annihilate the internal cause, automatically the reflection will be seen on the surface of the body. That is, the local affection will also gradually reduce. It is not advisable to apply an external remedy on the parts affected as the dynamic internal cause is responsible for the local disease. So again, Hanneman remind, Dr. Hanneman reminds us that do not apply any external remedy on the, on the, on, on the affection of the local disease or on the local part which has been affected. Why? Because there is a dynamic internal cause which is responsible for the local disease. So this dynamic internal cause has to be taken care of by a dynamic medicine given internally. So now what is this cause? This is nothing but the Sora mice. So now Dr. Hanneman tells us the suspense that the cause is the soric mice, which is present in the interior of the organism, which is responsible for developing a palpable chronic local disease. So the internal cause, which I have repeatedly am telling you is now Dr. Hanneman has pinpointed that this internal cause is the myasm, especially the soric myasm, which when activated, it becomes a palpable chronic local disease. Dr. Hanneman says that after the acute state has subsided, then we must employ the appropriate antisoric treatment. So Dr. Hanneman says that whenever the acute exacerbation has subsided, then you always, you always give the appropriate antisoric treatment. If this, if done, is generally suffice for radical cure. So therefore, it says that if you do this, if you follow my instructions, then radical cure will definitely take place and it will be more than sufficient. So of course, he says for local maladies that are not venereal. It is thought that the cure of such disease would be hastened by employing the medicinal substance, not only internally, but also, but also externally for rapid cure. So Dr. Hanneman says that, however, a thought could come in your mind saying that by the application of the external medicine, as well as giving the internal medicine, the cure would be more rapid. So he says, this treatment, however, is quite inadmissible, not only for the local symptoms arising from the myasms of Sora, but also for those originating in the myasms of syphilis or psychosis. So he says that this treatment, this treatment meaning what? Giving the internal medicine as well as giving the local application in a local disease. This is totally not allowed, or he said it is quite inadmissible, not only for the soric myasm, but also arising from the syphilitic or the psychotic mice. Why? We shall see. If we simultaneously use local application along with the internal employment of the remedy in such diseases, the chief complaint, that is a local affection, will usually be annihilated sooner than the internal disease. So he says that 
if you give the internal medicine as well as you apply some local application externally, what will happen? The local application will disappear sooner and the internal cause still remains uncured or, or it is still persisting or growing worse. We shall be deceived by the semblance of perfect cure. So what will happen? You will be happy that the external lesion has disappeared. But what is actually happening? You have been deceived or you are being fooled that perfect cure has been as or is taking place. Why? Because the still the cause which lies internally in the form of miasm, either psoric miasm, psychotic miasm, or the syphilitic miasm, it is still active. You haven't taken care of the active miasm internally in the body. Or it will be difficult and in some cases impossible to determine from the premature disappearance of the local symptom. So naturally, if you apply an, an local application, the local symptoms may disappear prematurely and the internal cause still is remaining active and you're quite happy now that the lesions have disappeared and the patient is all right. Therefore, Dr. Hanneman says, you shall be deceived by the semblance, by the semblance of a perfect cure. Furthermore, the general disease is destroyed by the simultaneous employment of the internal medicine. So therefore, he says that whatever local disease is there, it has been destroyed by the employment of the internal medicine. For example, recent H eruption, the Shankar or the Condylomata. Also, the topical employment of medicines when given internally is not admissible, which is based on the local symptoms of the chronic miasmatic disease. So therefore, it says that whatever external applications you're applying, the same medicine cannot be given internally because the local symptoms are of a chronic miasmatic disease. So whatever local symptoms are there, they are because of the miasms which are being activated in the interior of the person or the interior of the organism. For the local affection of the chronic disease, we only remove locally and in a one-sided manner, the internal cause remains uneradicated, which I've already told you that if you apply a local uh, a, a local ointment or some local medicine locally on the local disease, naturally it will be removed locally or it will prematurely be removed in a one-sided manner. One-sided manner meaning what? Only the external lesion will disappear and the internal cause still remains active or the internal cause remains uneradicated. The chief symptom that the local affection is gone and there remains only less distinguishable symptoms. So the chief symptom or the local symptoms are there, that will that'll go away. So whatever eczema is there, whatever psoriasis is there, or whatever local affection is there, that completely disappears and you are left with some other uh, non-important or vague symptoms. This is not sufficiently peculiar and too slightly characteristic to display a picture of the disease in, in a clear and peculiar outline. So what will happen? These symptoms which are there, they'll be ill-defined, they'll be incomplete. And with these ill-defined or incomplete symptoms, you, not, you will not be in a position to find out the characteristic remedy. If the local symptoms are destroyed by a corrosive or a, or a desiccative external remedy or by the knife, then the case becomes much more difficult to perceive. So further Dr. Hanneman says that if the patient has taken some sort of treatment and then has come to you, especially during, during those times for local diseases, they have to apply corrosive supplements or desiccative external remedies were given, or with the help of the knife, they have to, uh, uh, to remove the external lesion. And then naturally the symptoms or the case becomes much more difficult to perceive. Why? Because there are basically no lesions on the external part of the body. And at present, the patient enjoys so-called a healthy state of, of, of life. This is because there is too indefinite or uncharacteristic and, and inconsistent appearance of the remaining symptoms. So naturally, if the external lesions have been destroyed by a corrosive or by the knife, then as I told you also, I've just told you previously that what, what is remaining incomplete or, or symptoms which are not characteristic in nature will remain. And with these symptoms, again, it becomes very difficult to form the totality. Why? Because the symptoms are not peculiar, they are not characteristic, they are not distinctive, they are not individualistic. Furthermore, the important symptoms were destroyed by the local means 
which were important to determine selection of the indicator homeopathic remedy. So he furthermore says that whatever important symptoms were there, which may be useful to form the totality that had been destroyed by the use of corrosive or desiccative external remedy or by the knife. If the local symptoms were still present and the indicator homeopathy internal remedy was administered, then the disappearance of the local affection would be a valuable guide for the prognosis of the disease. So Dr. Animan says that if you are giving the indicated homeopathic remedy internally only without any application of the external medicine or the external remedies, then what will happen after you administer the internal me medicine, the local disease will gradually start waning off or it will get better. And this is an important guide to show the physician that the internal cause is slowly being eradicated. Moment the internal cause gets eradicated slowly, 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 the external lesions also will become better, better, and better. So it would be an indispensable advantage to reach to a perfect cure. So therefore, the physician will be quite sure now that the disease has been eradicated completely when the disease from the surface of the skin completely goes away. Why? Because he has administered a homeopathic remedy, which is based on characteristic symptoms and has administered it internally. This internal medicine has taken care of the internal cause of the disease, of a local disease, that is the myosin, either sora, syphilit, or, or syphilitic or the psychotic myosin. The main reason behind the local disease is that when the vital force is deranged and there is a danger to life, as some vital organ has been affected. So Dr. Hanneman tells us that why does the vital force throw the symptoms on the non-important part of the body? So he says the main reason behind the local disease is that the vital force is deranged and there's a danger of life. So whenever there's a danger of life, the vital force will try to preserve life by throwing out the disease on a non-important part of the body, that is the skin, in order to preserve the functioning of the vital organ which had been affected. So a local disease is there, the vital force has been deranged, some important vital organ has been affected, which is threatening life. In order to preserve life, the vital force throws out the disease onto the exterior part of the body or onto a non-important part of the body and thus the life can be saved. In order to preserve life, the vital force throws it out onto some non-important part of the body, namely the skin, where life is preserved. The presence of local affection thus silences for a time the internal disease, though without being able either to cure it or to diminish it methodically. So what happens when the vital force throws out the symptoms onto the non-important part of the body, that is, the skin, the, uh, the disease will neither be able to cure it or, or to diminish it. That means what? Whatever active causes there internally, that will remain. But the main important purpose that life has been preserved. The internal disease, on the contrary, continues in spite of it gradually to increase. So, but what happens? Life is preserved, but the internal disease, it goes on aggravating or it goes on progressing and it gradually increases. Nature is constrained to enlarge and aggravate the local symptoms more and more in order that it may, it may still suffice as a substitute for the increased internal disease. So what will happen? Nature will step in and if the internal cause or the internal disease goes on increasing or the internal cause goes on increasing, nature steps inside and the local symptoms also will increase. And that will help still to preserve the life. So when the internal miasmatic causes are increasing, you will come to know that from externally that the psoriasis or the eczema has been aggravated. So when they aggravate it, you know that the internal cause is still active. It is still, it is still progressing. You have to give an internal medicine based on the character's totality in order to cure it. Examples, old ulcers on the legs get worse as long as the internal sora is uncured. So if a person has a leg ulcer, which is very chronic, and it is because of internal sora, which is not cured, 
then naturally it will persist and it will grow first. The chancre enlarges as long as the internal syphilis remains uncured. Similarly, he gives an example that the chancre will enlarge or go, go or grow worse as long as the internal syphilis remains uncured and the fig was increased and grow when the psychosis is not cured. This makes it more and more difficult to cure just as the general in internal disease continues to increase as time goes on. So he says, as the time goes on of the chronic disease or more time is taken or the patient comes to you after a, after a prolonged time, then it becomes much more difficult for the homeopathic physician to treat it correctly. Why? Because there's a long span of time. In this long span of time, the myosins were active. They were giving rise to the, the, the local symptoms which were getting exacerbated on a, on a periodic level. So therefore it says, longer to, the longer you time you wait, more difficult it is to treat. Now he's given a comparison with the old school Dr. Hanneman says that if the old school physician destroys the local symptom by the topical application of external remedies under the belief that he can cure the whole disease. So in my first video, I've told you that the old school thought that in a local disease, only that part is affected and the other and the remaining part of the body is not affected. This was, this was an absurd doctrine which they believed in with disastrous results. So the old school physician used to destroy it, the local symptom by, by any topical application. So for example, warts, they were, they were destroyed by using strong solution of copper sulfate or by electric pottery. Hmm? So they believe that by removing the local symptoms, he can cure the whole disease. Nature makes up for its loss by rousing the internal disease and other symptoms that previously existed in the latent state side by side with the local affection. That is to say, she, she increases the internal disease. So what will happen when you apply an, or when you destroy the disease by a local application on the surface, the internal cause still remains as it is in the form of myosins, which the old school refused to believe. They only believed in the materialistic cause of the disease and not in the dynamic cause of the disease. So if you do such a practice as the old school did, then nature will make it up and it will side by side arouse the miasm which lied in the latent state in the interior of the body and will increase the disease. Thus the external treatment of such local symptom is to remove them from the surface of the body while the internal miasmatic disease is left uncured. So if you use an external treatment, what will happen? You'll only remove the local symptoms, but the actual cure, but the actual uh, cause of the disease, that is the internal miasmatic disease, it remains uncured. For instance, driving up the soric eruptions by all sorts of ointments, burning away the shanker by caustics, destroy the condylomata on the seat by the knife, the ligature or the actual pottery. So these are the examples which is giving that if you would dry off the skin eruptions, but the internal miasmatic disease of Sora will still remain. This pernicious external mode of treatment hitherto so universally practiced has been the most source, sources of the innumerable name or unnamed chronic disease under which mankind grows. So when the old school of treatment has treated a local disease with some external mode of treatment or some local applications, what happens? They are suppressing the disease. The disease is going from a non-important organ to a more important organ. It is going from the periphery coming to the center of the body and it, and it will make mankind suffer from more and more chronic diseases. Why? Because of the suppression. It is one of the most criminal procedures the medical world can be guilty of. So Dr. Hanneman says that if the old school had this materialistic thought and directed their treatment by employing local applications for the local disease, it is one of the most criminal procedures the medical world will be guilty of because they are suppressing the disease as a result of which many, many innumerable named or unnamed chronic disease mankind will get under which he grows. So that's all. I hope it's become very clear how to treat local disease and the difference again between local disease and local maladies. So please be stay tuned for more.
part four will be coming up soon. Thank you.